Welcome to Glencarry House, a brutalist tower block in Poplar, East London. I'm Katie, a member of Glencarry Cooperative Housing Association. Brutalism means different things to people who hear the term. Perhaps the glamour of the Barbican estate, the angularity of the National Theatre, or the dizzying heights of Trellick Tower. It may suggest utopian ideals from a different age. Here in East London, though, brutalism has been combined with community ideals to create a vertical village in Glencarry House in Poplar. Glencarry House is a 14-storey tower block. It forms part of the Brownfield Estate designed by Hungarian architect Erno Goldfinger. The estate is an integrated group of tower blocks and low-rise housing at the north entrance of the Blackwall Tunnel. The landmark of the estate is Balfron Tower, completed in 1968, the older counterpart to Trellick Tower in West London. The other two towers are Carradale House, designed in 1967, and Glencarry House, completed around 1977. Balfron Tower and Carradale House were designated as council housing, while in 1979 the GLC established Glencarry House as a housing cooperative. This was one of six similar cooperative housing schemes established across London by the GLC. As we understand it, Glencarry House is the only one remaining in operation. Anna Goldfinger's ideals actually live on in the way that Glencarry House is run. The residents manage the block and collectively form the Glencarry Cooperative Housing Association. The management committee is elected by the residents themselves and any new applications for flats have to agree to run the block in this way as well. So what this does is it creates this vertical village in which everyone has a say in keeping the community going. The block has 79 flats, most of which have one or two bedrooms. The flats are a generous size with commanding views thanks to Goldfinger's belief that everybody deserves high quality accommodation. There's just one corridor every three floors, with most of the two bedroom flats fitting over and under the one bedroom flats and the corridors like a giant puzzle. This gives us the maximum amount of living space. It also creates the balance between independence and interconnection, which lies at the heart of our Glencarry community. Flats are priced at below market value, so they're within reach of people on modest incomes. They're offered on a community leasehold basis, where buyers purchase the underlease of the property at 50% of the value as set by the district valuer. In 2019, we celebrated Glencarry's 40th anniversary and we remain committed to preserving our distinctive community life for future generations. Who's the longest serving resident there? Um, I think Doug upstairs in 69 has been here for at least 30 years. Yeah. 